right, so this is my new bag. I hope this video turns out okay. I'm shooting it in my son's room so it'll be a little quieter and I can kind of control the lighting. I already got fuzzies on it. This is the 511 Side Trip. And it is kind of a crossover uh, briefcase messenger. Um, it's not typical 511 tactical, you know, there's no uh, molly on it on the outside. There's only a, a couple little small patch areas. There's a place for a, you know, a name, a name strip and then a place for like a flag. Um, the biggest complaint that I saw other reviewers was the size. It is a little on the large size. Um, but that's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker. Um, could stand to be a little bit shorter in my opinion, but, you know, that's okay. So, the handles for the regular carry, instead of having the Velcro, they have this two-piece rubberized plastic that just locks together. Shoulder strap. This is probably my only uh, big complaint is I'm not real pleased with the way they made the shoulder strap. Um, I like the other way that they used to do it where this was all one piece of nylon and the shoulder pad was adjustable. This, you have to adjust both sides until you get it even. Um, again, not a deal breaker though. It's fairly comfortable and they use the metal D-rings so you can easily you know just swap this out for another strap. No big deal. On both sides it has a uh, water bottle slash side pocket uh, and it is multi-purpose as it has another pocket inside and then you just cinch it up and it velcros in place. This will hold a 32 ounce Nalgene, no problem. I carry one in that side every day. Let's do the back here first. It has the, the pass through with the Velcro to go on your luggage. This is a laptop slash document sleeve but it comes with this nifty little velcro divider so i keep my ipad mini and my charging stuff for my ipad in there and then has this up here so you can add your name or whatever if you need to this is the main reason i wanted this kind of pack it opens completely up. No flap, just zippered. Inside it has some molly attachment points on one side, but this is all uh, that soft nylon material that will uh, Velcro will stick to this. Plenty of room inside. A couple of hanks, batteries, anything. Throw it all in there you're good to go. These pockets had a couple of complaints because they don't unzip all the way, they unzip at an angle. And it has this little Velcro spot here. You can actually take, it's got some foam in it. You can take that foam out. It's got places for pins, you know, plenty of storage options. I actually put a poncho back behind this side but same thing on this side it just has larger pin, pin openings fit plenty of stuff in there I keep a microfiber some deodorant cologne uh, some tissues another knife a couple of bottle openers on this side I 
I keep a few things. This is a little small boo-boo kit in this little rigid case. This is an Olight um, buff, multiple uses, and then also some hand sanitizer. All fits in here nicely. And then you can also put something in that little back slip right there. Now, another, there's two more really cool features about this bag. First one is whenever you have this on your body, you have a CCW compartment right here on the front. That Velcro's. You have this part against your back, your hand is riding right here. You can kind of swing this around and get to it quickly if you need to. Now another really cool thing that I didn't find, I've only seen one other person mention it. I watched a lot of videos and, and you know read a lot of reviews as I often do. I noticed the bottom was really poofy. There's a little spot right there. I'm not going to take it out because it is kind of a pain to put back. There's a full rain guard in the bottom of this bag attached and it comes out and covers the bag. So if you're out and about and it starts raining, you can pull that rain shield out, throw it over your bag and keep your bag dry. I thought that was an awesome added feature. I got a good deal on this bag. Um, it's not the cheapest option in the world, but it's also not the most expensive. These list for 99 but 5.11 has a Black Friday pre-sale, so I took part of it, got 25% off, so I saved 25 bucks. But overall, I'm loving it. I've been carrying it to work this week, and it's just a great pack overall. So anyway, I hope that answers a few questions and uh, kind of let you guys know what this bag's all about. Take care.